comparing and arranging integers. Hello there students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you are going to learn how to compare and arrange integers in ascending and descending order. Let us start! Now let's learn how to compare integers. In comparing integers, we need to understand that the numbers to the right of zero gets bigger and bigger. While the numbers to the left of zero get smaller and smaller. Therefore, zero is greater than negative numbers but less than positive numbers. Let's try an example. Let's compare 0 and negative 5. Since negative 5 is a negative integer and it can be found to the left of number 0, this means that 0 is greater than negative 5. Let's have another example. Let's compare 0 and positive 5. Since 5 here is positive and it can be found to the right of 0, this means that 0 is less than positive 5. Awesome! We also need to understand that all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers. It means that negative numbers are less than positive numbers. Let's have an example. Let us compare positive 3 and negative 5. When we take a look at here, it seems that negative 5 is greater than positive 3. But, since all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers, it means that positive 3 is greater than negative 5. Let's have another one. This time, let us compare negative 4 and positive 1. Again, all negative numbers are less than positive numbers. This means that negative 4 is less than positive 1. Now let's have another one. What about we compare positive 18 and negative 25? Since all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers, it means that positive 18 is greater than negative 25. Awesome! Now let's go to another one. Now what if we are comparing negative numbers? Since negative numbers get smaller and smaller, it means that the bigger the number, the smaller it is. Sounds confusing, right? Let's have an example. Let us compare negative 3 and negative 5. It seems that negative 5 is greater than negative 3. But here, negative 3 is closer to number 0. This means that negative 3 is greater than negative 5. Let's have another example. Let us compare negative 4 and negative 2. Since negative 4 is bigger than negative 2, it means that negative 4 is less than negative 2. Great job! How about this one? Great job! Negative 40 is less than negative 21. Wonderful! Now let's learn how to arrange numbers. Let's take a look at these integers. We have positive, 
negative and zero. Our challenge here is to arrange the following integers in ascending and descending order. But do you have any idea what are ascending and descending orders? Hmm, let's find out! When we say ascending order, it is the arrangement of numbers or integers from smallest to largest. For example, we have 2, 7, 8, 12, and 16. And as you can see, they are arranged from smallest to largest. On the other hand, when we say descending order, it is the opposite of ascending order. It means we need to arrange the numbers or integers from largest to smallest. For example, we have 16, 12, 8, 7, and 2. They are arranged from largest to smallest. There you go! Now that you already know what are ascending and descending orders, let's try to answer our given problem. First, let's try to arrange the following integers in ascending order. Again, we have here positive 1, positive 5, negative 3, 0, negative 5, and positive 4. As we all know, ascending order means arrangement from smallest to biggest. Since negative integers are smaller than 0 and positive integers, we are going to arrange them first. Here, when we are comparing negative integers, the bigger the number, the smaller it is. Therefore, the smaller number between negative 3 and negative 5 is negative 5. And since we already have one left negative integer here, which is negative 3, that would be our next number. Now we have positive integers and 0 left. And we all know that 0 is smaller than positive integer. So that would be our next number. Lastly, we have positive integers left. As we all know, we are going to arrange this from smallest to biggest. And since we know that positive 1 is the smallest among these three numbers, that would be our next number. Now, we have positive 5 and positive 4 left. What would be our next number? Wonderful! You are correct. It is positive 4 since it is smaller than positive 5. And lastly, we have the biggest number, which is positive 5. Now we have negative 5, negative 3, 0, 1, 4, and 5. And they are arranged from smallest to largest. Wonderful! Now this time, let us try to arrange them in descending order. Again, when we say descending order, it is the opposite of ascending order. It means that we will arrange them from biggest to smallest. So here, we are going to take a look first at the positive integers. Since we all know, that positive integers are bigger than zero and negative integers. Now we are going to arrange them from largest to smallest. And we know that positive 5 is the largest number. Next is positive 4. And since we already have one positive integer left here, which is positive 1, that would be our next number. 
now we already have zero and negative integers left. And again, we already know that zero is bigger than negative integers. So that will be our next number. Lastly, we have negative integers left. And again, we all know that the bigger the number, the smaller it is. Therefore, the larger number between negative 3 and negative 5 is negative 3. Very good! And finally, the smallest number here is negative 5. Now we have positive 5, positive 4, positive 1, 0, negative 3, and negative 5. They are arranged from largest to smallest. Awesome job! Wonderful job, students! Now here are the things that you learned today.